joins us this morning, as he does every Tuesday on the Harbor One Hotline. Hey, Ty. Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? How are you? I'm hanging in there, man. I'm playing nurse right now because my mom had a back surgery, so I'm being nurse. That's why I didn't come here today, little mercy back surgery. So got to I got to do everything for mom. She did everything for me. Oh, well, that's so nice. So Chicken nice. soup, maybe, or like grilled cheese? What are you doing for lunch? Man, hey, we're going to get us some damn Uber Eats. I got her, so whatever, whatever she need, but we gonna we we gonna we gonna order we gonna order something, you know. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, I know Courtney wants to know. Curtis said oh. yesterday he wants to know. I've been dying um, for this. Uh, everybody wants details on the on the wedding Friday night. Well, I wish I can give you some details. I I had no idea what the hell I was going to. I was showing up because I thought it was like a patriot party. I was kind of confused. I'm like, what are we doing a patriot party in New York for? But (laughs) Mr. Kraft called and said, um, you know, that's what we're doing out there. So I went. So I had no idea he was getting married, but congratulations to him. And, you know, it was a a hell of a party. You know, you know, it smelled like money as soon as you went up in there. <laughs> it looked like money. It looked like a lot of money in that joint. I mean, how, was, uh, how was Elton John? <laughs> sir, excuse me, Sir Elton John. Hey, no, Elton John, he always does a great performance, man. I mean, I've seen him a few times uh, doing some of the um, Patriots events, and he always does a hell of a performance. Then they had Ed Sheeran come, and then <sighs> Meek Mill came, and he did his little he did his little thing, man. So it was a it was a nice event. But you can tell Mr. Kraft was happy. You know what I mean? He he was happy. You can see it all over him. So, you know, I was glad to be a part of it. I'm glad I got the invite. But I really had no idea what was going on. And then when I seen Tom, I'm like, well, don't you got a game? <laughs> 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 he got a game up. But at the same time, that's Tom Dan Brady. He, 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 he come in, he'll meet you in Pittsburgh. You know, I, I get it. So there's a lot of talk about that, guys. But that's Tom Brady. He probably went to the coach and said, look here. I'm about to go do something up here in, in New York. I see y'all in Pittsburgh, and there wasn't even no question about it because that's Tom Brady. Did you pick the <laughs> Did you pick the beef or the fish? What What were the entree options? No, it was more of a, a cocktail type of thing. We were, it was It was more drinking going on than eating. I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> the after party must have been on uh, on point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it, it was great just to see the guys. You know, uh, you know, Seymour, Wolfhook, Randy. Drew, I mean, some of the guys that you haven't seen in a while, uh, it, it, it was a great time. But like I said, we were all shocked because, I mean, I, only a select few knew what was really going on, but we were mostly like, huh? But, you but, got married? Wow. But, but, and, this, and, you know, but I met her before. We went to uh, Israel when I went, and, and she's awesome, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy for this crap. Yeah, but this awesome. is a wedding, so you got to give us some scoop. Things happen at weddings. People get drunk. Come on. <laughs> No, it was see, it wasn't. It was the nuptials wasn't there. This was the after party. The after party. That's, That's where everything goes down. <laughs> this was the after party, but you know, so like I said, it was cool, but it was nothing crazy that happened. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't nothing. I might have, I might have been too, too tipsy to notice because I was drinking. And, you know, we catching up with the boys. <laughs> Plus, Greg wasn't there. Greg usually, yeah, I usually is knocking take, people down. I usually at, at take weddings. down a take down a bridesmaid or two. That's what I do. Oh. But, I mean, <laughs> you know. No, no, it was, it was a real intimate setting, guys. So I mean, like I said, I think the shock for everyone that you know he he got married, but to see his face, to see how happy he was, everyone showed up, not knowing what was really going on. I think it was a special uh, moment for him and. Like I said, I was, I was happy to be a part of it, to be honest with you. I wish I had some better stories to tell. I just don't got none. I can't even make nothing up because I was, I was shocked as hell. Was, was uh, Tom trying to navigate his way back to New England by getting back in the good graces with the owner? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, Tom, you know, Tom was there, uh, you know, ready ready to go to Pittsburgh, to be, to be honest with you. I know he, they, you know, they were going to talk that they, he didn't perform well, but it was good to see Tom, and it, it was nothing about – football and it was there to celebrate whatever was going on with uh mr Kraft. and once we found out that's what it was all about and catching up with each other all right well speaking of football let's get to it um obviously uh there continues to be talk uh about a a competition at quarterback uh after watching bailey zappy last week where do you stand on that today ty now i might have a little change of heart for what i said last time so i was <laughs> and, and i said <laughs> Zappy is starting to make everybody in New England happy. You know what that means? 
Matt better hurry his ass up, Matt. <laughs> cause it's going cause it's going it's going it's a lot of talk. That boy's playing good. That boy's playing good. So I don't know if it's a quarterback controversy, but it's it's one on the horizon. I tell you that if he keep playing like that. So Matt, you better hurry up and come back because Bill done it before and he'll do it again. And if he does, and I, I didn't think it would happen. I, I really didn't because I think he proved himself. But the way this young kid is playing, the poise he's playing with, even when he gets sacked, he make a mistake. He made a fumble. He still comes back, and he's leading that offense. I like what he's doing. Ty, some of the things that have been kind of speculated around here is that, you know, Mac is a guy that asks a lot of questions on why are we doing this, why are we doing that, maybe a little bit of resistance towards the system. You've been in that, and he's a young guy. You've been in that locker room before. You know, how does Bill react to a young guy kind of going against the system and the coaches um, when they might feel like, you know what, I know a little bit more than uh, the credit that I'm being given. And, and is that a no-no with Bill? I, I think it depends on who you are uh, as, as a player and uh, as, as a personality, what position you're playing. So, I mean, we're talking about, you know, Mac being a quarterback. He want, you want him to engage. So I don't think that there's a you know an issue with that uh, when it comes to Belichick. Uh, he, he's a, he's approachable, <clears throat> but you can't be arrogant like you know more than the next person. You can't you you just got here, so that is that is a no no. But at the same time, you don't have Josh McDaniel there, so you can pretty much question anything right now because they they they're doing a great job. But the offensive coordinators they're doing it by committee. You're talking about Matt Patricia, Joe Judge. So there's going to be some, you know, questions maybe from a player standpoint. When it comes to defense, when you're talking to Belichick, you better be able to back up whatever the hell you uh you might be talking about when it comes to when it comes to defense. But right now, yeah, they're handling it, but it's not it's not out of the ordinary for a player to maybe question what's going on or just wanting to know for himself. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, I went to coaches plenty of time. Why the hell we go, Why the hell we running this coverage? Why the hell do you want me to do that? No, I'm not doing that. But that was me. <laughs> and I mean, it is, and and, I, and I'm, I'm unapologetic about it. If I didn't like what it was called, if I didn't see something, if I see something as a player that you may not have seen as a coach, it's just the way you go about it and how you talk to people. But you're supposed to question a, a, a coach sometimes. I mean, they're, they're, they're not – they're not God. To, if that was the case, they'd be out there playing. Would you would you say that Bill is also the kind of guy that a rookie should not try to hand a game ball to in the middle of the game? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> say that again, Greg. <laughs> what you say? Uh, did you did you did you happen to see the attempt by Brendan Schooler to give Bill the game ball uh, mid game? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see that one. Right. And, and I, 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 well, I, well I, you have to take a look yeah. at that. I think you'll. Uh, I think he you'll recovers a muff punt, and then you know during the game, he basically walks over to Bill to hand them the ball. Like, hey, here you go. Oh, like he gave, like he giving him a gift. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Like, you, like, you, like you bringing your teacher an apple. Like you, yes. you, know, like you got that cute. Yeah, that fine substitute. You're like, ooh, oh. she's she nice. I'm going to give you some, give me some brownie points. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ty, talking about guys that maybe are speaking up a little bit too much, uh, going back to after Green Bay, your comments about Jack Jones, he now has back-to-back pretty good games. Pro Football Focus defensive grades just came out. He's ranked number one uh, in cornerbacks. Is he surprising you that even after that game where he made those remarks after, I'm pretty sure your exact quote was shut up? <laughs> Man, you, you know what, Coco? I swear that something went blank. Did you say he's ranked what number one cornerback? In cornerbacks, is it what? Well, I mean, what? what what's the number? Defensive grades like, ninety point five, ranked number one. Oh well, hey, that's how you get people like me to shut up. <laughs> you got to perform, but you can't go out there and just uh, you know just talk and not back it up. I don't know who do, do these rankings. Half the people that do these rankings probably never stepped to uh, uh, they feel. They foot on the field ever, but I mean you can't put so much stock in that. But I'm glad that the Patriots are playing well, the defense, and, and as a corner, if you're going to talk to talk, as long as you walk the walk, I have no problem with it. But until you do that, until you prove yourself, it's basically just shut up and play. You know what I mean? Then once you become established, now you can sit there and say what you want to say. 
I, I look, I didn't. I, I wasn't a huge talker, which y'all probably contradicting myself right now doing all this talking right now. But <laughs> I didn't talk too much as a rookie unless you started with me. You start talking shit to me, I talk shit to you. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> there you go. That is swear. That is swear. That is back to back. We had to dump out of it, but that is back to back swear jar material right there. You got two S bombs. Exactly. So, but, but until, but until, and if I ever got an inkling, if, if my teammates thought that I got out of line, shut up, rookie. But until I establish myself, until I say, okay, this is this is my job. I'm the man at this cornerback, and then, hey, guess what? You know, you can say whatever you want because you know you're performing. But until then, shut up. And if, if, if the coach won't tell you, I'm sure if you got the right teammates, they'll tell you. And I had to learn that myself. I think they. I think he. I think he either heard you or his teammates because he's been pretty quiet though afterwards. Yeah, but he's he's, he's speaking on the field. Yeah, yeah, he's making plays on the yeah. field, but you haven't seen him kind of go to the media and say something. So maybe you know whether it's you and I know we had Devin on, and so I think some stuff gets back, and especially when it's coming from a Hall of Famer, but Devin said that they talked to him a little bit. So, yeah, I, I think that's what you okay. know, young players well, need. I wanted to, to spill the beans. I talked to Devin at the party, so it, so thank you. Devin McCourty said something to him. He's a veteran. He has a lot of talent. Just shut up and play, and then you'll be able to talk. So, look, I was <laughs> I was right. That's what Devin thought, too. So, you, you brought it up. I wasn't about to, you know, I wasn't about to just go on there and tell all the secrets, but you brought it up. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, the of guys that you could talk to, you, if, are you still whispering to J.C. Jackson? <laughs> no, I haven't uh, spoken to J.C. Okay. How, how is he doing out there in California? I, I know I mean, outside of being very rich, how is he doing? They got benched for the second half last night. Man, that 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 sucks right there. I mean, it. it, it I mean, I mean, the the check makes it feel a little bit better, but that that sucks right there because because as, as a player, you 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 want to go out there and play. They paid you all that money to come out there and perform, so uh, it's it's very very unfortunate. So I hope we can turn it around. In that same ranking I just brought up for Jack Jones, J C Jackson ranked a hundred and fifth, thirty five point seven. Wait, third? Wait, a hundred and fifth out of all corners? Yeah. And he getting paid like like <laughs> like the number one, number two. Yep. Oh Pro my football god. Focus. Hey, hey. You know what? Sometimes uh, that's a damn shame, but it's also damn awesome. <laughs> 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 you got a check. Like, you got a check like that. You know, I remember Robert Ory. You know, told me before. You know, when he was big shot, Rob, he had an opportunity to start. They asked him if he wanted to start. He was like, "No, I'm good." He was like, hey, I got this check. Yeah, I come in when you need me. So I was like, it's just sometimes people got one or two. All right, yeah, the, that's one or two. Ty, you already know it's the easiest way to rob in the NFL. Oh, oh man, you ain't, you ain't like It's a bunch of thieves out there. I'll be watching. It's a bunch of thieves out there with you. We could we go get a... Uh, Get, get in shape for about five, six plays, man. Get us a little something. Yeah, that's it. Probably, pay, 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 us, probably pay us more than Greg paying us. All right. yeah. I only need a little bit of what uh, John O. Smith's getting. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little piece of that. Just a little piece. Um, so, Ty, if you're Bill Monday night, you, you're you going with Mac Jones or are you giving Bailey Zappi another shot at it? <clears throat> I mean, I think uh, – see, I, I'm – I'm on the fence with this one because you typically don't you lose your job, you know, to an injury. But when someone comes in and playing like that, and he has the team somewhat rolling, you know, let, let him go ahead and play. You know, you know, you can give yourself a internal excuse, say, "Hey, take your time, Mac. You know, hey, let's get all the way back healthy. You know what I mean? So I think Zappy is going to get another opportunity to start because he earned it. Mm. All right, go. Ty. I would. Well, as always, great talking to you. And a quick reminder that you can bowl with Ty Law to benefit the Greg Hill Foundation coming up on Ty Tuesday, November 8th at Apex in Marlboro. I think we're about halfway there with teams that have signed up, Ty. So, um, Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah. That, that's good. We, just, we got we to gotta, uh, get everybody there and send them them because we're going to have a good time. I, I, I promise you we're going to have a good time. We're going to keep on reminding everybody so – you know, just uh, come on out. I'm, I'm trying to tell you this is going to be an awesome time, and y'all can watch me beat up, you know, on the team at the station. I'm beating Greg. I'm beating Wiggy. I'm beating beating Coco. Hmm. Hey, I got uh, hey, Coco. I got three daughters. I do not take it light. <laughs> 
me because you know the you know you you the female. No, yeah, I don't do please that. Don't, hey, please we, don't. Please don't. Hey, play. And I'm just I'm just keeping it 100. You know, people tell me that like, you let your daughters win. Hell no, I don't let them win. <laughs> well, the be- I, I, I mean, let the, win. the best natural athlete at the radio station is Foye. No mm-hmm. disrespect, Wiggy. So, mm-hmm. do you think you could beat Foye? In competition, because I'm going to get up in his head, oh, yeah, I'm going to talk a lot of trash. I might not even be good, but I'm going to talk enough trash or you're going to think I'm good. Plus, I'm only there for the <laughs> drinks anyways. You can, you can have bowling. You don't need to be an athlete to throw a ball down a, a bowling lane. So I'm there for the drinks and the, and the wings. <laughs> but I, mean, but I, got one, I got one rule, Wiggy, and this is, uh, this is across the board with everything. Do not come in dead ass last. That, I don't care if we running. I don't care if we fishing, bowling. Soccer, driving, kickball. I ain't coming in dead ass. I oh, I that. won't be last. I can guarantee that. <laughs> okay. I know. I won't be last. I can guarantee, I can guarantee that. I'll be ahead of somebody. Uh, I'm, like, I'm beating somebody. That's all yeah, I'm saying. I'm beating it. somebody. I used to find the, the biggest lineman and run next to him. Uh, all right. <laughs> Ty, we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you. All right, guys. Later. All right, that is Ty Law on a Ty Tuesday here at WEI.